Hey there guys, it's Braden here. Uh, you'll have to forgive the setup. I am currently still on the run from the authorities. But um, today we are going to be taking a look at the Jurassic World Dominion um, Kayla and Pyroraptor character pack, or story pack, um, I, whatever, whatever this is called. There are about seven of these in the toy line, and um, not all of them depict scenes from the movie, but this one specifically does a scene where Kayla, the woman here played by DeWanda Wise, um, encounters a Pyroraptor who, for all of the build-up the movie was giving us to the Pyroraptor, Pyroraptor was only in the movie for a couple minutes. Kind of disappointing. But, um, of the story packs, this was the first one that I specifically wanted to get because I... I wanted a Pyroraptor figure, and this was the easiest way to get one, the cheapest way to get one, at least. There is also a battle damage version of the Pyroraptor, but I'm not too fond of the battle damage figures, and there's another version of this figure that comes in one of the bigger playsets, but I didn't want to spend too much money on a big playset that I probably wasn't going to actually do much with. Uh, so, forgive me for this, but I ended up buying this character pack, which was actually on sale, at uh, the Target I bought this at. This was actually on sale for only $10. as was the usual asking price of around $14. So that's nice. There is one other story pack that I am planning on getting. Uh, but that won't be released until Wave 3 comes out. And as far as I know, Wave 3 is still not out yet. So, yeah. I don't buy these sets for the human figures. But I guess we'll take a quick look at Kayla. Who is nice enough. If you are a fan of human figures. And this will do the job nicely enough. This is a very... It, resemble, it resembles her, uh, DeWanda Wise's character from the movie, well enough. She does come with one of those stun baton things that also came with uh, one of the other sets. She holds it a bit better than some of the other characters did, but she still doesn't hold it very well. And another thing that the human figures in this line have as a problem is it is very difficult to get them to stand. Um, I actually had to spend several seconds setting this up so I could actually get her to stand up. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Uh, as you can see on her, the posability on this figure is actually not too bad. The head doesn't move at all. The arms are on ball joints. In fact, they are double jointed because she has movement at the elbow. There is a waist swivel. Her legs are also each, each on a ball joint and they also have knee movement. So she is pretty nicely articulated, but you know, this wasn't what I bought the set for. The main reason I bought the set was, of course, the Pyroraptor that came with it. And this is actually not too bad as a little figure. Uh, the figures included in the story packs do seem to be kind of downgraded in comparison to the ones that are sold in the uh, Attack Pack or Ferocious Pack or whatever it's called. Even though this figure is about the same size as a figure you'd get from a Ferocious Pack. Um, but it's a bit, but it's, it is definitely a little bit less detailed, but not too bad. Um, like I said, there are a couple of ways to get this specific Pyroraptor figure, as there is also a battle damage version, which I believe is a retool, either a retooling or a very similar, uh, mold to this figure. And then there is also the, um, another repaint of this with a very slightly different color scheme. Like there's a bit more, the red is a bit brighter and, uh, the face is different. Uh, that comes with a bigger playset. I don't remember what the playset is called, but I think that playset also comes with the Kayla figure. So if you want these two, but want to waste a bunch of money or want the big playset that comes with it, go right ahead and buy that. This figure is actually fairly poseable um, for a figure of this size. Uh, the head is... Well, it's interesting. The head can't move left or right in the typical sense. It can turn left and right, and uh, the mouth can open. And it can also go up and down because it is on a it is on a ball joint, but I think because of the way the uh, head connects to the rest of the body, you're not going to be getting a whole lot of movement out of it in that sense. The arms are on hinges, uh, which is nice. They move decently. The legs um, the legs do move. However, you can't really do much uh, posing wise with this figure because you can't move his feet. And also, he does have a bit of clown feet going on, because otherwise he wouldn't be able to stand. And I'm not going to show it off, but if you so desire, you can rotate the tail around. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this because of the lighting outside, but if you want... Oh, it's on the other side. If you want the scan code for this guy in the Jurassic World Facts app, there it is. Uh, pause the video right now and go ahead and scan it. I'll even give you a bit of a closer look there. There, if you want it, pause the video and go and scan it. 
overall, I don't think this set is too bad. I quite like the two figures you get with it. Um, I really like the Pyroraptor, um, and I really like uh, Kayla. And uh, I'm not, I don't buy the sets for the human figures, but the Kayla figure is not too bad. Um, if you want to get this set, it's about uh, 14 bucks normally. I got this on sale once again. But if you want this figure, then go ahead and get it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to start running again because I think I can hear someone coming.